every other pair that comes in here, it's it's a knockoff, you know? You have a nice piece here. What do you want to get out of it? Ryan did look, in, look up our numbers from last year and this year. The increase is so big that actually I'm kind of blown away. Hi, honey. Hi, baby. Jump. Good girl. Hey guys, Pete over here. So before we get into today's video, I want to say thank you first to Mike. Mike, if you're watching, I really, really appreciate it because what you're seeing next to me is a gift that I received when I went on a pick last week. Hi, sir. How are you? Good. Okay. And uh, this is really, really cool piece. It's on a display here, but I think this eventually will end up with my cabin up north. So yes, thank you very much, Mike. I really appreciate it. Very cool piece. But I also picked up this from Mike. And don't get many of these come into the shop very often. This is a hundred ounce of silver. What do you guys think how heavy it is? What's hundred ounces? What do you think? A hundred ounces. <laughs> so it's a little bit over six pounds. Pretty, pretty heavy piece. Now, if I would have had a hundred ounces in gold here, that would be pricey. That would be like $180,000. Can you imagine that? So Mike, I appreciate you very much. Let's get into today's video. See, the biggest thing with them is if they were taken care of the right way so the nozzles are clean and things like that, you know, because some of the guys do a poor job, don't clean them, and they get so clogged up, you can't really use them anymore, you know? Yeah, and I don't know about them. <laughs> I just told them I'd stop. I was going to Crystal Lake, cleaning out the fall barn, downsizing. Okay. We got some Sharpie, we got some Snap-on. I didn't even know nap on made. I'm like, like that one. I didn't even know they made them. So it's a hodgepodge of a little bit of everything here, as far as like brands, you know? So yeah. any idea what are you trying to get out of this stuff? No, you just said bring it in and see what you said. Uh. I think I'm actually gonna pass on. Huh? All right. I think it's just, yeah, there is a couple good names here, but I think they might be just a little bit too old for me. All right. You know what I mean? Not a problem. Sorry. Oh no, not a problem. I just figured I'd bring it here. Otherwise it just goes to the pile for the garage sale. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. I also have, I don't know if my husband called or not, a Remington clock. It's on the old, I mean, it's vintage, so it's old. The clock works and everything, but it's a Remington clock. It so looks like so, kind of like so, a beer light. Okay. Um, but it's got a clock on it in the picture, but it's not a beer any, light. Any, anything kind of man cave related stuff, and especially with a Remington logo or something on it, yeah, I would be interested. All yeah. right. So you can bring that in. All right, yeah. thank you. So I just picked up these unbelievably cool two pieces of vintage electronics at this i started cleaning them i think they got like 50 years of dirt on it you can tell the difference between when i started cleaning and the dirty part unfortunately this is not working garard turntable probably uh, i want to say mid 60s to late 60s unit same thing with this tube uh amplifier this is made by H.H. H. Scott, very, very sought-after unit. 
probably 69, 1969. Crossing. <laughs> also not working correctly. I think I'm gonna have this looked at it and then maybe try to refurbish this because if this unit is in good working order, it can bring probably about a thousand dollars. The way it sits, about half of that. One channel is working, one is not. Most tubes light up, one of them is glowing only on the bottom, so that might be the issue. I don't have extra tubes at the moment. I just wanna share this with you guys because stuff like this, although I get a lot of electronics, tube amplifiers don't show up here that often, so this is very, very cool piece. And the cabinet that normally comes with, that has a metal mesh on top, because a lot of these uh, tubes create lots of heat, so it needs the heat needs to escape. It's pretty cool too, but this one does not have a cabinet. Yeah, very cool stuff. Love it. I'm pretty sure this is this is the 1862 Navy Cutlass, but I can't make out who actually is made by. Sure. I can through the loop. I can tell that the first two are 18, and that's probably the 1862 but above I can't make out it says D dot R and then something else it's gone and then right above I can't tell what it is this is the one that I'm looking here that this this actually sold this one and let me go to the original post that one sold for 879 the handle is a little bit more beat up uh, and the mark on this very similar like yours, right? So right. we can see the half of 18, I think bottom of the six. The ass right there, you see the ass, the top yeah. of the ass? So I'm thinking that that's US. what's missing in there, right? Because it you, should be USN for Navy. And then we can see the DR, semi-DR, you can see there, right? I almost see an A, look right here. Tell me if you see, or an N, I see. N, it. see, that's what you're seeing. Oh, you no, think I it's see. A, yeah, but it's I see. N. Yeah, I see. So I think that's exactly what we have here. Right, yeah, DR. Yeah. yeah, so this one is much nicer stamped, and we can see the anchor right, right. above it. There yeah. should be an anchor here. Somebody put a polish wheel to it, I think, yeah. at one point. Uh, you can see kind of marks all the way through. They tried it to clean it up, which which you should never do. Yeah, but I think it. all, it's all original. The handle is definitely original. Look how worn worn it is, yeah. you know? And yeah. you can't fake leather like this. Yeah. So I think this is all original. Uh, and I think scabbard is original to it as well. So. Yeah. You have a nice piece here. Um, this handle here, maybe a little bit better condition. Yeah. Than this one. You can one. see the, the You can see more. the the, you know, and you can see clearly the mark. What do you want to get out of it? Uh, I was thinking like, three fifty four. So I'll tell you what. Yesterday, Ryan told you forty bucks on that, and I don't want to go any higher on that. Sure. I think that's a fair offer on a condition that yeah. is this. Sure, I agree. This guy. Top. Three would be tops for me. Three? Because here in the shop, I'll, I'll try to stick like seven on it. Yeah. And the first like 556, I'll sell it. So right. I'm going to try to double my money on it. Um, anything higher, it just, you know. All right, three. Three, three and three 40 and for that. You got, got it. You got it. Yes, sir. Perfect, awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Very brother. cool, very nice. I think it's a legit piece. So no, it is. For it does sure. have a couple like. I told you earlier yeah. that somebody smashed it maybe a couple times against something. There's a couple yeah. gouges in here, but they're not like huge. Yeah. And this is still, even though that somebody cleaned it a little bit, it's not too bad. So it's it's all right. You got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good girl. So I got a cheat sheet here in front of me. This is something me and Ryan want to talk about here a little bit because as you read the title today about the inflation, I think it's a serious problem right now what's happening. I think it's yeah. really kicking people's, excuse my language, it's kicking people's Yeah, I mean the last, what, week and a half, two weeks? This whole month more. of February. The whole year yeah. actually. The whole year, the whole January and February now. And this is today's February 15 as we are filming this. So we are kind of halfway through February, but we are seeing humongous increase in merchandise coming into the shop. People need money. 
yeah they're selling stuff so actually in reality if you are a reseller it's a good thing right i mean it is it, it's it's good but it's but also it's bad because there's now things that people are selling that now people aren't buying because everyone's unloading the, yeah because, so you know they don't it's really a very it. delicate balance in reselling game right you are happy when you get to pick up a lot of merchandise you got a lot of stuff or you got a big selection but you always got to think about can I, I load this and can i unload this for profit can we make money so i got some, i got a cheat sheet here ryan did looking look up our numbers from last year and this year so the increase is so big that actually i'm kind of blown away i know we were getting a lot of stuff we we are getting so much stuff that we're having a hard time pricing this mm -hmm. on every on daily basis we get so much merchandise on daily like basis non-stop non -stop. putting stuff out so just to give you guys idea today is february 15th so we are halfway through february last year the whole february we spent just a little bit over twenty six thousand dollars today is february 15th we almost already spent that kind of money halfway through 25 grand yeah you know what but i mean last month as well M month previous that last year we spent just a little bit over twenty thousand dollars uh in january we spent 32 grand in january so huge increases i'm, I'm kind of blown away how much people are selling and how much extra money people are needing you know yeah and of course guess is always up and guess is like this but everything else that we don't talk about that it's up i mean my my homeowners taxes went way up everything year, is you know? up and all the utilities all the groceries i mean just and some of the stuff they're saying it's only uh, 15 20 percent no I see increases there 50, 60, 70 percent. And the volumes are shrinking too. Yeah, the so you're getting, it so. is pretty crazy, but uh, yeah, it's, it's something to really like think about when you are a reseller. Is it good or is it really bad? I want to hear your guys' opinion. I know many of you are resellers who watch my channel. Drop a comment below. What do you think what's happening now? And those of you who are not resellers, just you watch us for fun, you know, for the interactions that we do. Are you feeling the pinch? What do you think? Drop a comment. I was going to say, it used to be a lot more of a balance between people buying and selling, but right now it's... It's all selling. A lot of selling. A lot of selling, yeah. I like these. I do too, it's cool. just that one's missing the uh, tail Thank fin. You. All right, look at that. Who will survive and what will be left of them? Nothing. <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Pretty cool. I heard grenades that's in our dining room. That, that frame really doesn't go with it. It looks no. like it was uh, some kind of picture in it, but... I see the creases, yeah. so we we'll I mean, fold it. He has some kind of signature on it, but... I don't see a way, right? Most likely not. Is this original? Very light. Is, is this guy original or? It's uh, no, I think it's probably no. something something from the two thousands. Okay. I think what people usually do is like just put some fishing string on it. Yeah. And it place. Floating. Exactly. <laughs> Classic Aussie's lager. So yeah, they're, it's not the Sekis. You don't always drink beer. Oh, it's not. It's Sekis. not because they only have three, I think, right? This is I four. Think so. Right? so this is Australian. That's cool. Hi, guys. How are you? Hey, how's it going? Good. It looks cool. The video turned out good. Yes, and I actually i am talking to the gentleman right now over email um, that we need to cook talk to about this for a second here as soon as I'm done with him. Yeah. There's a gift. No, no, right here. Oh. Willie. Willie is Willie has gotta be like ninety years old now, Willie Nelson. Or maybe even older. How old is Willie? I didn't look it up, I have no idea. Ninety. Yeah. I'm still like at least Do you know anything about this? Yeah, I actually had it signed. Okay. It was about 20, 22 years ago. He actually went to this place called JC's Haunted House in Rockford. So basically, he went to the haunted house and he had to pay ten bucks to get his autograph. But he, we we don't have any certificate or anything with no, it, right? No, I, I, I got it done myself. Okay. 
You can kind of compare it, I guess, online or something like that if you want. Yeah, you can, but you know how people are, so... I'm like, I don't know how valuable is his autograph anyway, so I'm not... He passed away, I think, seven, eight years ago, I think. Maybe seven, eight years ago, maybe ten years ago. He's passed away, for sure. Yeah. I'll keep bringing stuff in. This is interesting, this is cool, it's just like... Different, right? It's different, yeah. It's just for me, I don't know if I want to deal with these like selling individually. Probably try to sell it as a bundle, you know what I mean? Like a giant collection. What? Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know? So. Um, I think I actually make pictures of them and the others in the dead too, or they're in a museum or something. Huh? It's, it's up here, Ellie. But this thing doesn't have a power cable, you but can put out batteries in this thing. But you can run on batteries, yeah. You even have Dymo printer. He must have gave up selling. I'm done, man. <laughs> I'm done. He's like, I'm done. This is actually more valuable than most people think. Is this? Oh, that's a that's power really supply good. for this for Sony. This you have a power supply, hopefully. I I mentioned, this might work for a split second it's to show it works. Yeah. Okay. These are not hard to get the chargers for these, so. No, I mean, I made sure it. Don't just go through it. Say hello, blah blah blah. You know. But. Yeah. <laughs> Rodney Dangerfield. Oh, I just picked that up. Oh, no, this was on the last video, this record. Some bubblehead. Mr. President Obama lost his chin. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. And it was well protected too, I don't know how, you know? That was a giveaway at the Ice Hogs game. Nicer sunglasses. You know what? Uh, I probably will say no on all, please. I just lately don't do too good with them. I see there's different stuff inside, right? This is like a Ferrari. No, yeah, that's an Oakley with a Ferrari logo on it. Yeah, it's a Ferrari. It's uh, like a Ferrari edition lens. Yeah. I always worry with these, you know, because there's so many freaking knockoffs. It's just, you know, every other pair that comes in here, it's it's a knockoff, you know. I, yeah, I can see so, that. That's so, so if you bought them from a legit source, then it's a different ball game. Yeah, but yeah, if yeah, you pick them up somewhere, who knows where? Then I'm always kind of skeptical. I used to have a you know? in Rockford. Basically, I did baseball and softball stuff. Uh huh. So I had a friend that worked at Lens Crafters. He was a manager. So a lot of so times he he'd, hook you up. Yeah, I got really good prices on stuff. So I had a big cabinet. You know, just sell glasses. So uh, I'll be honest, these I'm actually gonna pass. Okay. Pretty much all the good. I just don't do with them that good anymore. So you know, uh, and I always am skeptical putting them online. Right. Yeah. Because it's like, you send. You know how it is. You send them out. They tell you they're fake. They send you some BS back. And yep. So I I don't want to really deal with that. You okay. get a pair of knockoff something from yeah. the gas station back in a box that you sent. Well, you brought me some cool stuff here. Some of this stuff is. Yeah, I thought some Adventure School stuff, some cool stuff, yeah. stuff. Some of these, if you, I wonder if there's I just think that translucent one inside. It really was on there was for the, part of the unit, so I didn't see anything. There is a older transducer in there. Uh, like this is this is all I really need to hold up. Parts only, parts yeah. only, parts only. This is a big big offer because I don't have a boat or I don't fish, so. This actually might be a little bit too old. Okay. I'm, I might say no on that. Um, but everything else that you got me here, I think I would be interested in. 
So oh, and good I mix of stuff here. This um, thing too. What is that? Like a super nice drone. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Who made that? Drone close up and help you. Tight. It, it is um, actually a, qu a quadcopter. Okay. So what it does is it has six instead of four. So it stabilizes a lot better. And it also has this, the camera. The camera alone is like $200. So most of the times you'll see these being sold, it won't have the gimbal or, or the camera. Yeah. Then this controller alone, it's an LED screen. These things go for like 150 bucks by themselves too. Plus there's three batteries, usually you get eight batteries. So did you flown this? Yeah, I have it. It's just too much for me. It's never been crashed, nothing like that. Okay. It's even got a, you put this in your pocket and it'll follow you. Okay. You know, hit record basically like, you know, the, when the stops How old is this unit now? S well, it came out like six years ago, I think, seven years okay. ago. You definitely do some research on it if you want. So I think, I think not having a certificate on this, I think I'm going to say no on this one, on this picture. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Because I will only pay you basically based, you know, it's signed, but it's not, you know, I'm dedicated, you know. So it's it's your call on this if you want to. I mean, this is this is something that I'll offer you, you know, 25 bucks. Per, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. So it's got more sentimental value because I just sit in line forever. <laughs> Plus, it's cool, and I can piss my girlfriend off because it sits in our in our dining room. <laughs> She looks around, she's like, get rid of that thing. I'm like, I like it. It's like, it's yeah. nostalgic, kind of like, you know, so everyone knows what if it anything, is. If anything, I would put this in a little bit different frame. Nicer frame? Uh, kind of like a black matte right. frame or something, you know, more like theater like, you know, photo. This, I think this, you had, I don't know if you framed this or was some other picture in here before. Yeah, I just found the frame and just, yeah, yeah, yeah. just threw it in there real quick. Yeah. But, just to try to save money, basically. So then besides this, then if you're going to keep, yeah. what are you thinking? What do you want to get out of it? Yeah. And let's set this aside for a second. I'm yeah, going to sure. loop this separately. Sure. But the rest sure. of the stuff. Which one is fire? Yeah. One, this one too. With the... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's different. You know, it's not Tosekis, but it's Australian beer. You know. Somebody might get a kick out of it, having it in there, you know. Man cave. I wonder if it's even around anymore. I don't know. I don't know. We want to throw me an offer and I'll see how close we are. Yeah. I'm thinking 230 bucks. So I don't know what number you had in head. And this, the drone, we're going to do separate, but for everything that I got here on the, on the counter. Well, aren't you the um, Can we do 250 and I'll throw this in? I'll give you these two. The broken, <laughs> broken chain Obama. I forgot about Obama being broken. <laughs> uh, uh, Just what I think. Well, how about 240 and I'll throw 240. this in? 240, yeah. I mean, I'll bump up another that's 10 bucks, but that's about it. I'll so. throw this in. Okay. If he's seeing this for parts, then there might be a chance to actually sell it for a unit. Yeah, you know, twenty twenty-five dollars was going for parts. If I even maybe part it out more, I'll make more money that way. But once again, I don't want to sell things for parts. You know what I mean? No, so that's, that's where I was at. So that's the thing, you know. And like this stuff, the smaller stuff, like these, some of them are not that much money. But I'm not gonna sell them on eBay. I'm gonna sell them here in the shop. So that's easy then for me, you know. I don't know if that actually can hold, well, but very close. Yeah, because you put like two or three on each side in the middle compartment. The middle is huge, look at that. Yeah. So one said that was like, like seriously like $150 or something like that. All right, let's make 250 uh, I'll throw a few more dollars. I appreciate so before we end today's video, I have a question for you guys. So I just picked up two of these signs. Harold's Chicken Shack, number 22. So number 22 restaurant. Very popular chain here in Chicago. Um, and I know it's in a few other cities, but I wonder if you 
guys are totally aware that this restaurant exists in your area drop a comment tell me where you're from and if you ever seen Harold's chicken restaurant pretty cool looking rooster over here guys thank you so much for watching I appreciate you I'll catch you on the next one cheers